Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Happy Gatty Crypto here. So pretty much I'm not so much taking a step back from Twitter, but I'm just going to be not hanging out as much on there. It absorbs a lot of time and it's mostly filled with a lot of irrelevant stuff. Um, in my opinion, there should be more drive um, to more educate people to you know, drive the adoption of this overall. And I just feel like it's lacking. It, it's kind of turned into a bit of a joke fest for most and moon, moon boy talk and, and all this malarkey in between. There was some really brutal stuff said uh, yesterday in this AMA about YouTubers, you know what I mean? Putting us all into the same category, which is just not very nice. <clears throat> There's a lot of, lot of YouTubers that do good things. Uh, Matthew Perry, for example, you know, does a lot for the ship community. Uh, DJ Trev himself is, <clears throat> from what I can make out, he doesn't tend to FOMO people in or, you know, all these other kind of like moon boy kind of uh, tactics, so to speak, moon tactics. Uh, but anyway, let's move onwards to some more positive information. And, you know, it's about this whole rewards that are coming up here and if you're ever kind of confused about something and there's a question mark next to it like that, hover over it and it will kind of give you a breakdown of what it is. So according to the system, this is the estimated monthly rewards with 100 Luna staked. I don't think that's right. Um, for some reason, I feel like it's just not right. But apparently this is what you're supposed to get per month, per 100 Luna staked. And obviously it's going to be different for each validator depending on how much their commission rates are and stuff like that we've got a lot of validators in the active set uh in my opinion we've got quite a few nodes that are and have been there pre-crash so they can just be spun up so to speak a jailed node is more or less an on an offline node or an inactive node uh so to speak it doesn't mean it's jailed so this in itself, seeing more stuff like this pop up on Terra Station is absolutely awesome because this is supposed to be the direct hub of the actual blockchain. It's supposed to be where the endpoint of a lot of data should be. What are endpoints? Exactly what you're seeing here on the screen. Everything that's being shown here is an endpoint. Uh, it's just being displayed to you. Same with the way we do it. Um, and we've always kind of worked with direct queries uh, of the blockchain. But as you can see, We've got a tax rate box now, which is really good. We'll likely add this to Lunk Penguins just for the sake of it. But currently, we're working on reproducing a similar system to Stake ID. Uh, we're working on a few other things. And then we're also working on this list of CEXs that are going to be executing 3568 and how they're going to be executing it. Um, now, there's a weird video floating around. Um, well, it's of CZ Binance giving an interview and it's kind of interesting. I've seen this one since the day it was released, but it's weird because the more I watch it, the more I sit there and think, I don't think he understood the question that was being asked and he actually answered the question for something to do with Luna Classic. But I'm still a bit confused. I'm going to try and just watch it a few more times over before I actually bring it to light. But it's not positive. It's not negative. It's just kind of strange in its own sense. So... The question that's asked and the answer that's given are two completely different things. I've double checked it. I've gone through and I've looked and, you know, I really think this is kind of a slip up on, not so much a slip up, but a misunderstanding of uh, what the question was that was asked. So look at this transactional volume for the past three days. Let's have a look at the past seven days. Looking great, right? Looking healthy. Exactly. Because rewards are paid out in the system regardless and the 1.2% burn tax will never, ever land on uh, rewards which in itself is kind of contradictory of this whole all transaction things there's a lot of people who are not happy about it but at the same time i don't think anyone wants to be taxed on their um rewards it just it kind of sucks so if you look at the seven days so if you flick it to you know 14 days 30 days seven days last day you can see at the top here it gives us the actual transactional volume so over the past seven days we've had 1.17 trillion you know, transactional volume. So people are saying, well, you know, the when it kicked up last time over here, right? Because Binance moved their coins. But look at leading up to it. 
And then obviously now where we're sitting now, it's we're seeing good transactional volume. This is because a lot of what is going on currently has to happen on chain. Um, the rewards are being dished out on chain. Everything that's happening on chain will be getting taxed. And yeah, it's going to suck. And a lot of people will realize, you know, that you are getting this 1.2% burn tax, but we all signed up for it, didn't we? And at the end of the day, if everybody just carries on the way that they are and acting exactly how we are now, we shouldn't see a huge price, you know, reaction uh, downwards. Hopefully we move upwards from the good momentum of, like I always like to look at SHIB, the amount of momentum they've built up from burning uh, alone is absolutely huge. Obviously they've got a burn portal now, which you burn, you get paid out in Ryoshi coins and they've given more than just burning a, uh, just burning you actually get something back for burning your coins which is quite a good idea in my opinion i did speak about some kind of burn overlay portal and when you burn you should like get paid out possibly in all of these other coins so all of these other coins should be like part of the reward scheme like you're rewarded a percentage of all these coins possibly from um some kind of well it could be dished out from the oracle pool maybe um, if people are happy with that, but just a burn overlay and to incentivize people to look into the system more, look at all these coins, possibly think about adding some of these tokens in if they're good tokens and stuff like that. Uh, Orion has their own token in here, so it's as easy as that. So there's ones in here called X Luna as well, which I think it's in here. Is it in here? Ah, it's somewhere, but it's one of those, um, you know, liquid stake and derivative, same as, well, Anchor is a bit of a Ponzi scheme. Not a bit of a Ponzi scheme. It is a Ponzi scheme. Why am I saying that for? Anchor needs to be removed, in my opinion, from the Terra Station. But it's all if, buts and coconuts because at the moment we don't even have a tutorial link. So, yeah. Um, as it stands, we really need someone to be working on Terra Station. And, like, I think it's kind of getting forgotten about. But at the same time, why, you know, this is why I created look. Lunk Penguins, this is why it was birthed. This is why I hassle the guy who created it to so just put more on there, bring more on there. So, yeah, really interesting. Looking really good. I'm sorry about the videos. Uh, I think the last two, three videos have all been like I've scheduled them for times and then it's like completely not done them at that time. Done them like I think three hours later and then it's putting them private but posting them and then i went on this morning it de it had deleted too i was like what is going on i contacted youtube turns out with some kind of weird bug that's going on at the moment and yeah they're just basically saying you know if it gets deleted put it up again and it's like well yeah great but you know can we fix the bug <laughs> so yeah really interesting like i said we are working on stake id replication if you don't know what stake id was the basic use of it that most people were using was to see what validators had voted um on proposals and what proposals are up and stuff like that we're going to replicate it to the best of our ability and um it should be out hopefully by the end of the week so stay in there stay tuned stay steady don't trade on emotion try trade on factor you can be aware of doppelganger scammers anyone pretending to be me never going to dm you anything like that and yeah none of this is financial advice i'm not a financial advisor and we'll catch you in the next one Shoo -lip.